Something's not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. Set a target lock before shooting, so the missiles can home in. if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one.
As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. I have located a container at some distance. Ah, resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Advise activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. my objective reaching your destination and where is that it's still a long way to go you'll understand more when we get there i would prefer some more substance to your answers this will enhance your weapon damage considerably i like the sound of that
What's this mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brunt Prospects. Corporate Behemoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. This time, this time I'll make it. How did Grady and Brunt manage to get the only contract in the DMZ? They were first on the scene, due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far as their monopoly is concerned, their close working relationship with the Colonial Fleet was undoubtedly a factor. negatively if you attack one. I can see that now, thanks. 
That's just what I need. 